with regard to Gaza, one of the deep concerns that we have uh, is the impact of this limited operation that we've seen to date in Rafah on the ability to provide humanitarian assistance because the two main points of access in the south, uh, Rafah itself and Karem Shalom, have been affected by the, um, uh, by the, the, the resulting conflict uh, in, uh, in the south. Uh, and we've seen at the very time when Israel was taking important and much needed steps to improve the provision of humanitarian assistance to Palestinians in Gaza, we've seen a, a negative impact uh, on uh, the fact that uh, we have uh, this uh, act, very active conflict in the, in the Rafah area. We've been very clear that um, when it comes to the future of Gaza, uh, we do not support and will not support an Israeli reoccupation. We also, of course, do not support uh, Hamas governance in Gaza. We know and have seen where that's led all too many times for the people of Gaza and, uh, and for Israel. Uh, and we also can't have anarchy uh, and a vacuum that's likely to be filled by chaos. That only underscores the imperative of having a clear, concrete plan for the day after the conflict in Gaza in terms of governance, in terms of security, in terms of rebuilding uh, Gaza for, uh, for its people.